Um, so we have a, a, a check or a competition style uh, nymph hook on there. And today I am rocking a size large uh, tungsten bead from Flyman Fishing. It is a caddis bead and it is in black. This is a 0.10 non-lead wire. This is actually a 6 aught Beavis in a fluorescent hot green color. And I'm gonna be throwing down the best thread base possible here. Now there's a there's a dull side and a glossy side. I'm gonna I'm gonna tie the glossy side in upwards, and what that's gonna give me is uh, just a well a duller top section. Okay. Um, up next, we're just going to tie in some uh, real basic stuff. This is, just happens to be a, uh, a clear brown thread. And this is just a little Hairtron uh, dubbing. It happens to be in a in like a caddis green. So what I do with this dubbing is uh, I'm just going to put it on real tight and I want it to be extra thin. I don't want to be adding any excess thickness to this fly because I want it to get down deep. And the next move that I do now is I separate this guy you can see it's it's actually tied in just a hair behind and What we're going to do is we're just going to tie that in there. And up next we'll come in and we'll start ribbing this. And we're not going to do anything really crazy. We're just going to rib this straight up and over making a great looking check nymph body. And I just fold that over once and then tie it in again. Um, I do that for security purposes making sure that this is very secure and last but not least we're going to tie this little tiny check nymph bump back this little guy over because we're going to make it like a wing case almost if you would so, yeah. this is going to be a ice dub peacock black um it does a great job of its uh, intended purpose so what we do is we just pull that little guy forward there and really we're just creating another body segment um, for that there. Uh, this is kind of the last body segment and because these hooks turn down so greatly what I'll do is I'll actually just uh, turn it sideways and then throw a few whip finishes in there. Um, and now for the top of this we want to darken it up a little bit and what I'm going to do with that is just a little purple. I think the purple actually looks a little bit more realistic. Um, and you can do spots on it, whatever you s s desire. But we'll darken up this thread base just a little bit. And you can see now we have this great looking caddis pupa. We've got a dark back, a lighter bottom. Um, to complete the look though, what all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here with just a top coat of the flow. And that's really going to solidify the look and nature of this uh, Czech style nymph, if you will, or, you know, Polish, whatever, you know. It's just a competition nymph. It's going to get down really low. It's got a good wide gap hook. So I'll go ahead and I cure that, and you can see some of those fibers starting to glow. We get it for about that 10 to 15 second mark, and it's gonna look really awesome. Um, what I do from there on is I, I take my, my trusty pick tool, 
you know, any, any, uh, you know, your bodkin, whatever will work too. Just so you have other options there. Um, I'm going to crank these guys out to be legs. And I'll just scrunch out the body just ever so slightly. Just because, you know, these check nymphs typically do that. They look kind of buggy. And that hair really stands out, that hair dubbing. So there you go. That's going to be uh, a full check nymph. It's going to look really great in the water, have great move, you know, not movement, but um, it's accelerate towards the bottom at a rapid pace. Um, it's quite a heavy bug in hand and uh, hope you guys enjoy.